Lactose-free milk. Is it better than regular milk? Some well-informed diabetics actually wonder about this because they realize that lactose is actually a sugar. It's the milk sugar. And so they think, well, if it is lactose-free, it means it's free of the sugar and it should be safe for me. Well, this is what we're going to address in today's video. But before I get to it quickly, I am Dr. Amina Gooden, a physician and health coach, and I help overweight people with blood sugar problems fix those problems without having to take more medications. All right, so we're going to get into it today. Lactose-free milk, lactose intolerance. I'm going to talk first about lactose intolerance, then we're going to get into milk. What is milk? What are the different types? And then we will end by really coming to a conclusion about which one is better, lactose-free uh, milk or regular milk. All right, lactose intolerance. What is that? Essentially, it's intolerance of lactose, which is the natural sugar found in milk. <clears throat> You're intolerant of it because you do not have the enzyme that is responsible for splitting that milk sugar, lactose, into its two parts, galactose and glucose. Now, if you think of the milk sugar lactose as a two-car train, essentially one of the cars for the, that lactose train is galactose and, one of, and the second car is glucose. And those cars are linked together just like trains, right? Train cars. Now, when you drink the milk, you, that lactose, the milk sugar, is broken into its two parts by lactase, an enzyme in the body. This enzyme is naturally or normally produced by the cells lining the gut, but in some people, they either don't produce a lot of that enzyme or they don't produce any at all. So for those who produce just little bits of that enzyme lactase, they can tolerate milk, but you know, the more they drink, the more problems they have because this lacta lactose remains in the gut and ferments. And that is why they have the symptoms of bloating and abdominal cramping and even diarrhea, depending on how much milk they have. Um, like I said, some people can be a little deficient and some people can basically have no lactose whatsoever. So there are different degrees of lactose, um, it, lactose um, intolerance, depending on how much enzyme the person produces. And that determines how, many, how much symptoms you have. Now, sometimes lactose, in, well, oftentimes lactose uh, intolerance is like sort of a, I guess, maybe genetic thing. And it's felt that actually human beings evolved to have smaller or decreasing levels of that enzyme with age. So when we're babies, because we have to tolerate our mother's milk, yes, uh, we generally would be expected to have normal amounts of the enzyme. But as you get older, you should be now eating regular food and not really milk. So um evolutionary speaking we probably maybe are on the side of being lactose intolerant as in general now some populations depending on where you are in the world some populations will be more lactose intolerant than others okay now in addition to uh lactose intolerance that maybe may have a genetic component sometimes you can have temporary acquired lactose intolerance and that would happen after a bad bout of gastroenteritis where the infection of the gastro the tract the infection of the gut the gastroenteritis caused damage of the cells lining the gut that produce the, the enzyme. And so you have a temporary deficiency of the enzyme. So after you cough from the gastroenteritis, you realize that anytime you have something milky, um, you have bad cramping, bad diarrhea, bad flatulence. That acquired temporary form of lactose intolerance actually uh, will take about maybe a month or so to resolve. You will get back to normal after that, right? So lactose, that's lactose intolerance. Basically, you do not have the enzyme that breaks the links between the two cars of lactose. Um, in terms of, you know, what for milk in general, like we're going to move on to what, oh, well, I did tell you about the symptoms. Anyway, let's get on to milk and what is milk in general. So normal milk, right? Normal milk, basically one of the few complete foods in nature, complete because it has almost equal amounts of the three main nutrients, which would be protein, carbohydrates, and fat. And obviously you would expect it would be complete because it's a food for developing baby, newborn baby, or mammals survive by the milk only for the first six months or so of life, it varies, but certainly for human beings, for the first few months of life, they are surviving on milk. So it needs to be a pretty complete food. Generally speaking, if you get a can of whole milk or rather a, a carton of whole milk, you will see that it has about 12 grams of sugar, 8 grams of protein and 8 grams of fat. So, you know, almost equal parts, just a predominance of carbohydrates and the carbohydrates are more or less lactose, the sugar, right? Now, that's whole milk in general, but in addition to whole milk, in fact, you it might 
depending on which supermarket you go to, you might more easily come across 2% milk or fat-free milk. 2% milk is where the fat content is reduced. So whereas the whole milk has about eight grams of fat, 2% milk has about five grams of fat. And then there's fat-free milk, which would have no fat, okay? Now, which type is better? Lactase, sorry, lactose-free um, lactose free milk. What is lactose-free milk? Lactose-free milk essentially is milk that does not have lactose, but does it mean that it does not have sugar? That is the question. If you look at a carton of lactose-free milk, you will see the ingredients, milk, and then you will see lactase. What it is is that the company, the factories, added lactase. So you're lacking in the enzyme lactase, so the company, the factory added lactase to the milk so that it takes the place of what you are missing. Now, the lactase does not wait until you ingest the milk to work on the links between the lactose double trains, right? The lactase gets to work as soon as it mixes with the milk. And so what you have is milk that is lactose free, but instead the two individual cars are free floating in the milk. So you're going to have free galactose and free glucose in that milk. And that is why actually lactose free milk tastes a little sweeter than regular whole milk because you have free glucose, which has a much sweeter taste than lactose in your milk so it's almost like it's like pre-sweetened with glucose right and so if you think about that now getting now starting to think about okay which one is better what do you think would be better something that has a higher percentage of free glucose in it or something that doesn't have free glucose and instead your body has to work to release the glucose or free the glucose right and of course you know that that's not going to happen immediately depending on what you're having your uh, milk with it's going to be mixed with other things in your stomach and so your body's going to take its time to have the enzyme break the links between the two sugar cars of lactose and so you can expect that because your body has to take time to break those links it will release the glucose slower into your bloodstream and you will not have as quick a rise in your blood sugar levels as you would with lactose-free milk because the lactose-free milk has the glucose already there, right? Already there, you drink that, there's no work for the body to do to free the, 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 the glucose from the double car train and so it just floats on into your bloodstream and carries your blood sugar up. So I think... You listening to this video will realize quickly now that, oh my, lactose-free milk, yes, it's lactose-free, it doesn't have sugar, the milk sugar lactose, but instead it has, the, the lactose is break, broken down into its two parts, galactose and glucose. Now, glucose, of course, is the big, you know, deal for type 2 diabetes, but galactose, the other sugars as well, galactose is also con converted to glucose in, in the liver, like it is that it gets changed to glucose right um as is fructose and you know some of the other um simple sugars right so uh you will have your blood sugar going up from drinking milk it will go up faster with lactose free milk because the glucose is free there readily and easily available compared to milk that is your body has to work on now quickly about fat free low fat milk versus fat free if you think about it um depending on how many different components are dissolved in the milk, right? If you have only uh, protein and sugar in your milk, it means that there's less competition to get across the um, gut wall and into your bloodstream compared to if you had fat intermingling with the protein and intermingling with the carbohydrates, then it's those three things together that are jostling to get across the gut wall and into the bloodstream. So it will take a longer time for your blood sugar to rise if you're having whole milk with everything compared to if you're having fat-free milk that has no fat to get in the way and impede sugar from entering across the bloodstream. So all in all, my conclusion, my opinion is that if you're going to drink milk, whole milk would be better for your blood sugar, especially for diabetics, but for all of us. All of us should be concerned about blood sugar, right? Whole milk would be better. Um, and if anything, 2% milk, if for whatever reason you want to go lo low fat, but the no fat milk is going to have the worst effect on your blood sugar because there is nothing, not much competing with the sugar 
um, and with the protein to get across into your bloodstream. And then the lactose free milk, well, that's going to be the worst, right? If somebody's lactose intolerant has whole milk, they really don't have to worry too much about sugar, you know, rapid increase in blood sugar because their body is not going to break down the lactose. So that lactose will sit in their stomach. And yes, they'll be a little uncomfortable, um, maybe temporarily, um, but but at least the, the lactose would not get broken down unless they have little bits of the enzyme and then they get little bits of the sugar from um, the milk, right? So that is the conclusion. Essentially, um, we said that what lactose intolerance is, you don't have the milk um, sugar enzyme, but lactose free milk, the factory adds the enzyme lactase to that milk and that enzyme works on the milk while it's in the carton before it gets into your body. And so you have free glucose getting into your bloodstream very easily because there's not much work for your body to do. I hope you all found this video helpful. I hope it has answered the question for you about you know, lactose free milk and if it's better for diabetics than regular whole milk. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.